Hi everyone, it's Karen here and welcome back to my channel. I have a new Creativation 2018 haul. This one is from the Crafters Workshop. I was very, very fortunate to be able to do a little bit of, help a little bit at the, the Crafters Workshop booth for the lovely Jamie. And I did a demo on Sunday and I wasn't able to record that because I was doing demos and showing these new products. And I just wanted to show you some of these new products that came out from the Crafters Workshop. These are the actual tubs from the demo itself. And the cool thing is there is eight new colors of paste. Now, I've already shown, and I'll link the video below, of all the new products that came out last year. There's paste, modeling paste, uh, regular fluffy paste, shimmery paste, black paste, white paste. There is gesso. There was gold gesso, silver gesso. And these are really, really cool. So what I want to show, I want to actually show you how they look on paper. And um, this is a haul slash showing you the materials because I really wanted to test them out for you. They're shimmery uh, modeling pastes and they're perfect consistency. You don't have to mix anything in them and you can use them for any type of project. Everything is already mixed in and you don't have to liquefy them by adding anything in them. It doesn't change the consistency of the color when you add it. So it's already formulated that way. There's eight colors for this and they come in this big eight ounce uh, jars or you can get them in the two ounce jars and actually now all the mixed media products you can get in the two ounce jars directly from the crafters workshop or i think in some other um retailers and i will list these are already available at scrapbook.com so i'm going to list that below and all the links to that and what i like about these is that uh, they are very very smooth and the color is already there and you don't have to do anything so there's eight colors platinum modeling paste sterling silver modeling paste, antique gold, champagne gold, Grecian gold, copper penny, white pearl, and marcasite silver, which is kind of looks like gunmetal. There's also, of course, lots of new stencils, and I have some to show you. I do not have everything that came out from the new collection, but I have some really nice ones to show you. There's a star stencil. This half tone stencil, which is beautiful. Now, don't quote me on who designed what. Um, these were done, these were used in the actual demos. So I just grabbed a few so I could show you. These are beautiful. So I think this one is Rebecca Mayers. Uh, this might be from uh, Julie Fanfaden Balzer. Same with this one. These two, I think, are for Julie's. Oops, done. How cool is that? And these are perfect if you want to use them for a uh, gel press or anything like that. Um, there is this one. This is from another designer. I don't recall her name, but she does these beautiful animals. So that's really nice. And sorry, it's hard to see because I have something underneath. There's the snowflakes, which are really pretty. These are from the like standard collection. There's this one. How beautiful is that? I just want to show you. There's this. So I just grabbed a few and I want to show you how to use this. There is this one. And what I really like is these new ones that have like their for home decor and you can use them to write beautiful sentences. This one says thankful, grateful and blessed. And I love that. And love grows here. So these two actually demoed at the booth. So I'm really excited. I want to show you how these look like. So I'm going to grab a little bit of paper from here. Just so you can see, it's just any paper. I just want to show you how these look. So let me just raise them, put them up to make sure that I can show you each one because they are just beautiful. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, I'm basically compare the colors. Let me get a palette knife. So I'm going to compare four colors and four colors because that's basically uh, the best way to do it. Let me pick a stencil. It doesn't really matter which stencil. And I'm linked everything below, of course. Well, I like the one with the flamingos. But let's try something a little bit. Maybe this one will give me a good pattern that way. So let me start. I'm going to start with, the, I think, the silver one. So first, I'm going to show you the white pearl. And this is gorgeous, I have to say. Um, they're probably a bit sealed. And I have to take them apart. 
don't mind me i just have to separate the lid a little bit so if i take too long i might stop the video but hold on um you know how modeling paste gets stuck because these have been used oh there we go i got it so the consistency is beautiful it's pearlized which looks amazing if you wanted a subtle background even for like cards that would be awesome so i'm going to show you this one it's going to be hard to see how pearlized it is but you can see in the video more or less how it is and i'm just going to show you how smooth it goes on so i'm going to compare these this is the only one that will be very light so you won't be able to see that it that well now i'm going to add i'm going to try the platinum oh this one opens up easily this is a beautiful color look at that and you see the consistency is so smooth it's perfect so this one is the platinum color and yes it looks like kind of a silver color but you'll see that they're all different it looks like they're the same but they're all different so i just want to show you the the different colors um i need wipes hold on I want to wipe off the excess. I want to lift it up in a second so you can see the different colors. So this is how beautiful is that? So that's the pearlized and that's the so the um, platinum. Okay. Now I'm going to take a different stencil because I already use this one is going to oh wait, I can clean it up. Let me clean this up a little bit. It's really easy to clean even even with a with a wipe, but if not just run it under water it should work I want to do the same pattern so don't mind me I'm cleaning up I know this is kind of uh, impromptu or should I show a different pattern I'm debating mm, well I already cleaned it so maybe I'll show a different pattern in the other one okay so I'm going to go here I don't want to go over the pattern and I'm going to try the sterling silver okay so this one is beautiful i have to show it to you and you're going to compare i'm going to try to compare the silvers on one side and the golds in the other so let me close the platinum one to make sure it doesn't dry up and i can just imagine so many projects i can do with these so i'm really excited okay let me show you see how it's already different it looks different already and you think this looks like gunmetal and then you open the muscarcite one silver and it's really darker okay let me okay i'm going to add this one and i will link everything below like i said let me just now open the other one i'm gonna open this one and you can see the com like you, they all look you think you they all look the same and then you end up um wanting to wanting them all because they are the colors are completely different oh this one is also a little bit hard to open sometimes the modeling paste gets stuck look how beautiful you see how it is darker so you think one way and then it's like oh oh i want that color as well because it's darker okay so let me show you the for the comparison between all of these and the nice thing about them is that as i said they come in the smaller pots so if you want to experiment first buy the smaller ones and see how you like it and if you like it a lot then you can buy the bigger ones or if you have a store and you want to do classes or you want to do a kit it's really great because you can just buy the smaller ones and include them in the kit which is perfect look at that how beautiful the four colors so let me get a little bit closer so you can see i think i applied it a little bit thick there on the corner you see there is a silver um no not the silver pearl the white pearl the platinum the silver uh sorry sterling silver and the marcasite silver which is kind of like that color of the stone the marcasite stone so how beautiful is that so i really like this and now i want to compare the other ones i want to show you the other ones oh i just put this on that was not smart of me okay let me just clean this up i'm going to turn this around there white hey surprise it's all clean i should have not put the stencil right above it okay so okay i'll clean this up in a sec let me close everything see i don't have enough space here and i'm running out of space for everything 
So this one is this one, and this is for this one. Make sure you always close your mediums, and I will close it in a second really well. Okay, so I'm going to leave this one here. Don't do this. Put this right away in water. I am going to wash it right after this video, so it should still be okay. But if you want to make sure you save all your stencils, make sure you wash them and put them in water right away. Um, let me grab a different pattern. I want to grab another pattern that is like, you know, really good for you to see the, the difference in the colors. So here we have the silver ones. And let me just wipe this a little bit so I don't have a problem after. So don't mind me. You can fast forward this part of me cleaning everything. You know you can fast forward on YouTube if you don't like seeing certain parts of a video. Just fast forward it a little bit, get to the end. It's important to support people and watch their videos all the way till the end. So even if some parts bore you and you want to just turn it off, don't. Just watch, fast forward them a little bit and continue watching. Sometimes, yeah, I don't want to watch people drawing things in their projects, but I just fast forward that part and that's it. So it's a good tip to do, and especially if you're supporting artists on YouTube. So that's a good thing. Okay, next one. I'm going to try the champagne gold. This is all the golden colors. I'm going to compare the champagne gold with the other gold ones. And look how pretty that is. So this is what I mean by the consistency. It's really good because you can, um, you can use these and you don't have to like mix them with anything. Let me move this a little bit. So a lot of people take modeling paste and then mix it with paint or with mica powder. Now with paint, what happens is that unless it's a really thick paint, it will dilute the modeling paste. And if the modeling paste is too diluted, it will run under your stencil and you can't really use it. So I really like the fact that this is like thick enough that you can actually use it through a stencil. And... Um, if you're using like mica powder, which I've done before and it's great, the only thing is that you have to use a lot of mica powder in order for it to work. Because um, the mica powder, I mean the, the modeling paste, which is usually white, kind of changes, uh, makes the mica powder be a little bit lighter. So it's the color, you have to put a lot of mica powder for the color, color to be intense. So if that makes sense, these are already done for you, which is really, really great. So that's the first color. I'm going to go with the second one, which is the Grecian gold. Oh, look how pretty that is. And again, it looks like it would be similar, but it's actually not. So here we go. And I like this. Yeah. How nice is that? And I mean, these pots are huge. This will last me like forever. Truthfully, it will. The third color I want to use, so this is this, this, and then the third one is antique gold. So let me use this one, and you'll see. You would think, oh, it looks coppery, but then you get copper, and then you're like, oh, that doesn't look copper. This looks like kind of like brass or an antique coin, which is really nice. Okay, this is the next one. Mm hmm. And I'm going to have to clean the stencil in between because I don't have enough to run through the whole, through all four of them. So there we go. And the last one, which I need to show you, look at the difference already, how beautiful that is. The last one that I want to show you, let me clean. I like cleaning. Oh, I need more wipes. This is why I have so many wipes in my garbage every time because... <laughs> I use them for everything. I love wipes. So let me just clean this for a second so I can show you the different, the, the last one, and then, I'll come, and then I'll show you both together so you can really see the difference between all the eight colors. And yay, yay, yay. Now, there's so many different products that the Crafters Workshop has besides the stencils. They have like thick paints, thick acrylic paints that are heavy body. They have gessos and they also have, they're the only ones who have really gold and silver gesso along with the clear gesso and the white gesso. You've seen me use the modeling paste from them. They have black modeling paste, which not too many people have. They have clear modeling paste, which is like very translucent, so it's great. 
So it's exciting because they have lots of nice things that a lot of companies don't have. Let me just show you the last color. I'll link some of the other products as well so you guys know what I'm talking about. And this one is the Copper Penny. It does look like a penny. Here in Canada, we don't have pennies anymore. They took them away from the market. You cannot use them. So people and cashiers and stuff always have to round up. So if it's like four cents, then people have to give five cents. If it's two cents, then people like save two cents. So it's interesting. It's a new system that they developed a few years ago. And here's the copper penny. It does look like a penny. Okay. And there we go. There we go. I want to show you all four. Let me just close this. Well, eight, not all four. But I'll first I'll show you the comparison of these. So this is the right order, I think. No, yes, this is the right order for these. Okie dokie. So here are the four different colors which is the champagne gold, the Grecian gold, the antique coin, uh, no, antique gold and copper coin. Co I'm calling them the wrong names, copper penny. Hold on, I want to close this one properly. Okay, so these are the four for this one. Oops, so there you go. These are four and you see how they're all different? They look the same, like you think that they're very similar and you want to just buy one but then I want all of them because there's different colors of them so you wouldn't know unless you put them side by side which is what I did and here's the other four and isn't that cool look at their beautiful colors and you know what I can use this as reference too so I could put this in a binder and use it as reference once it's once it's dried so I'm really excited about that because these are amazing. The consistency is great. They're very smooth. And once you get them, you'll know what I mean about smooth. They're very, very smooth. And they dry up like basically sheer. Uh, not sheer. I'm just a smooth and like flat. And they dry up. They have a beautiful shimmer. So thank you so much. And I'll link everything below. And have an amazing day. Bye.